Why is it that when Dom Toretto slams the throttle in first gear, his charger pops a massive wheelie? But a 1500 horsepower Koenigsegg Jesko doesn't. I mean, the Jesko literally has 500 more horsepower than Dom's family-powered muscle car. So why isn't it lifting the front end like a rocket? And yeah, I already know what you're thinking. Bro, that's a movie. Dom Toretto can outrun gravity if he wants. Fair enough, but here's the crazy part. Real Koenigsegg hypercars can actually wheelie. Models like the 1.1 and early Jesko prototypes have so much torque and rear traction that if you launch them hard enough, the nose really does start to lift. And that is a huge problem for a hypercar, because the moment the front tires come off the ground, steering turns into zero control. Front arrow stops working. The car basically becomes a $1.5 million seesaw. So imagine this. If a Jesko lined up against a Bugatti on a racetrack and the Koenigsegg popped a wheelie, it wouldn't matter how much horsepower it has, it would lose instantly. That's why Koenigsegg invented something insane, a suspension system that literally kills the wheelie before it even starts. It's called the Koenigsegg triplex suspension. Instead of the car squatting in the rear when you hit full throttle, the triplex system keeps the back end perfectly level and locks the front wheels to the ground. The result? You get full power, full traction, full control, and the Jesko stays glued to the road like it's on rails. That's the secret behind why Koenigsegg can break world records and even put cars like Bugatti in the rear view mirror. Now I gotta ask, which one are you picking for a launch battle? Bugatti or Koenigsegg? Comment your picks, I wanna see which fan base dominates. And if you love insane car science like this, hit like and subscribe for more mind-blowing breakdowns.